This is Fillmore, California, a small town in Ventura County where I've spent the last 22 years of my life. And today, I'm finally moving to Los Angeles. I'm an east side dude with a bank road. Used to call this country down on no guns. Some of you guys watching this video might have thought I already lived in LA, but the reality of it is I was constantly driving back and forth an hour in each direction, putting a crazy amount of miles on my car, and honestly just spending way too much on gas. But I actually kind of loved it because that feeling of driving back into my hometown after a crazy day out in LA just made me feel so proud of myself. I mean, after all, this is the town where I picked up a skateboard for the very first time and filmed my first YouTube videos. I honestly never pictured myself leaving, but something's been telling me that now is the perfect time. I feel like there's going to be some bigger opportunities coming my way, and I do not want to miss them. So let's head back to my room and pack up some of my things. It's kind of crazy to see this room become empty. There's even kind of an echo now. I moved here with my family back in summer of 2019 and real ones know summer of 2019 was big for me. That was right after high school when I quit my job at McDonald's and started taking this YouTube channel a lot more seriously. It all worked out for the better and I just cannot thank you guys enough for that, but it's kind of sad. Like I filmed a lot of good videos in here. And then the board company that replied to me was Enjoy. I just said sponsor me and they straight up just said no thanks. And obviously some not as good videos. People have told me that I look like this guy from Six Flags, but I don't know. I just don't see it. I'm gonna miss it, bro. I'm gonna miss it. This is where I went to elementary school from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. And in fifth grade, I was the vice president, bro. I was up there on stage during like the assemblies and shit. There was this like yard duty lady who I felt like always harassed me. So I would go home and tell my mom about it. And she told me, I want you to go up to her face on the last day of school and call her a bitch. So 11 year old Brian runs up to her and says, hey, you're a bitch. And just runs back to class, bro. And they took me to the principal's office. But there wasn't really anything they could do because my mom pulled up and was like, I told him to say that. She's been harassing him, blah, blah, blah. It probably wasn't even that serious, but bro, that's a core memory right there. Oh my God, no way. That's her. That is her, bro. That's her. What the fuck? No shot. That's her, bro. I swear, she looked right at me when she got out the car. She looks the same, bro. What the fuck? This is where I went to high school. Graduated from here two times, two times. Did you get your diploma though? Yeah. Do you get it this, like this now, like this year? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank, you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. That's my other old house from like 2015, 2016. Used to film the flat bar verses and stuff right here. Oh my gosh. That was so satisfying to watch the peanut butter just kind of plop onto there. It's crazy because at the time I only had like maybe 500 subscribers, but there were still kids coming to my door. I remember this one kid coming to my door at seven in the morning. It was on like a Wednesday before school and he wanted me to teach him how to fakey big spin in my driveway before school. I filmed the clip on my Snapchat of him like through my peephole on my door. I'll put it on the screen. Damn, bro, good times, good times. This is the building that my office space was in where we would do the podcast and stuff. I never really showed the outside of the building because one, privacy reasons, and two, it's just ugly. It should look abandoned. But yeah, they took out my windows right there in the office space and they were supposed to be replacing them. But what was supposed to be like a one week project turned into like four months. So I was like, all right, I'm out, bro, I'm out. I can't record anything in there because you hear all these cars going by. That's crazy, bro. I just pulled up the text messages from September where I texted the property manager that I was leaving the office. And the last thing I told him was I might be moving out of Fillmore in the beginning of next year so i don't think i would return that's crazy bro that's when it was just a brand new idea in my brain literally everything happens for a reason i moved out of the office because of the plywood situation with the windows and because i moved out of the office and wasn't paying rent anymore i had a little extra money so i told myself okay i'm gonna try to save up a little more and move to la by like february and it all worked out bro that's that's crazy bro that's crazy not only am i leaving my mom's house i'm also moving away from my dad who lives on the other side of town so i'm gonna go catch up with him for a little bit and then probably play some basketball if he slams my trunk i'm you haven't been in a video in a while. In what video? They've been asking. Who? My fans? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> we gotta play a game of horse. All right. Let's just play pig, P-I-G. Let me just start it with a free throw. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, bro. Damn, we can't make shit. Are you Brian Garnett? Yeah, what's good, bro? Do you have a marker? Uh, I don't carry a marker on me. Oh. My, my bad, my bad. I was gonna ask you if you could autograph one of these. I, c I could get like a rock and I could use that as like a signature. Sure. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, if you want. Yeah. I oh, fuck. Oh. How, how did I make that? But I couldn't make a fucking free throw. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wind. It's the wind. Wait. Oh. Ah. 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 All right, I'm going to steal your shot. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
Ah, one more, one more. Damn, you don't deserve to wear that Kobe shirt. Yeah, I do. <laughs> First one of you guys to make a three-pointer from the top gets five bucks. Damn. <laughs> All right, first one to hit that kid gets five. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, gang. Good shit. Good shit. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I still need to set up a bunch of stuff before I show you guys the apartment, but I really want to skate right now, now that I live near a bunch of amazing parks, so let's go get a session. This will be floating backside flips. Oh my god. He said he was trying to kick with 50. What the fuck? So I still haven't told you guys who I'm gonna be living with. I'm gonna go introduce you guys to him right now. He may or may not look a little familiar. What's yeah. good, you guys? What's good? What's good? This is Ashton Kelly, a skateboarder and YouTuber who, up until recently, was living in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've known Ashton personally for a few years, but we've been internet friends for even longer. Me and him talk here and there and everything. Um, he watches my videos, I watch his videos. I think me and him have the same amount of subscribers like i think we both have 3000 it's kind of crazy how youtube can lead to great friendships and in this case roommates oh! i don't even know where to start because all this shit just happened so fast i know it was just an idea we were like we should get a place together in la but we were like all right let's get a few homies it was never gonna be like a content house it's still not gonna be a content house and it was it was just strictly an idea at first like nothing was like official or anything it was just an idea some people were already like guessing before we even said that there was going to be an announcement like i was hinting at i want to move closer to la you were saying i want to get real vegas. and people were like you guys should move in together you guys should move in together for real like in my videos i'm always like yo fuck vegas weather i need that la weather and then people were like you should just move there already and i was spending hella on gas driving from Fillmore to la Fillmore to la orange county like everything bro for real and driving back and forth from vegas all the time like i would come out here like multiple times a month i don't know how it would have been jumping in a house with like four homies like i feel like that we would have been, been stepping on each other's toes and stuff it would have been hectic when we went to miami i saw me and you both we stayed in the same little room and we just kind of like kept our own little corners you know oh yeah so we I did have like, the same room i knew right then i was like okay ash and i could live with j films not so much not so <laughs> much even though we had this idea for a while i didn't start looking at places until like two weeks ago bro two and a half weeks ago not even three weeks for real shout out ashton he made it super easy because he's all the way in vegas so he kind of just like trusted me to look for a place we actually got accepted to a different place that was not as nice as this one and it was a little further the property manager never called me because he got sick the week we got accepted it, it was confusing but basically like everything happens for a reason because now for we real. ended up in this place and once you guys this see is it, the bro, one that we so fucking nice. wanted too oh, as soon as he sent me the picture of the place i was like yo this one's sick it's, we, but like I it had everything we needed we had everything we, it had everything we needed let's go show you guys the apartment let's go show you guys the apartment let's go all right here it is the apartment w crib it's the unofficial name if we were to name it we're not gonna name it because that's cringe but if we were to name it w crib w crib we got a little kitchen area i'm hyped on this because other apartments i looked at and stuff the kitchen area was like bro so skinny like only one person could fit you know like right here if we're this way we could have we could have a few homies just chilling like this we got hella space, we got a stove, we got a dishwasher because you know we lazy. We have insane cabinet space and not enough food. <laughs> One thing of Oreos. It's good to have too much space, you know? Thank God we did not have to buy a fridge. Me and Ashton spent so much money moving in here. A fridge and like, a dishwasher, like stuff like that, bro, like I cannot imagine. And we got one of the cool ones, you know? You get some water. Oh fuck. You guys are not ready for this fridge. We are stacked. 
<laughs> the one thing of milk. We got everything pretty much furnished. We haven't done much grocery shopping. I'm not gonna open every single drawer. Like that's crazy, but shout out my mom because she got us literally all kinds of silverware, knives, toaster, even things we don't need. I'm like, we'll probably need some of these, but I'm talking like, I'm like bro, what? Are me and Ashton gonna whip up some some eggs? Are we gonna are we gonna batter some eggs in this bitch? No, nah, hey, shout out my mom though. W mom. We got a microwave. Hey, did you know if you put your phone in the microwave, it charges fast. Thirty seconds, hundred percent. Imagine I started <laughs> just fucking blow this shit out. We get evicted. Another thing that I'm so glad we have a washer and dryer, bro, in the apartment. Like, there's no laundry mat. We don't have to go down, pay some quarters. And we did not have to buy this. Like, it, it came with the apartment. It's clutch. It's clutch. This light, bro, this, I was hyped on this. This light, take a look, take a look. Goes on and off, but then it dims, bro. It dims with the switch. That is hard. This little area over here. I'm hyped how it all came together. We got a little coffee table, mat, the couch. We got a big ass TV. What is that, like 60? No, it's like 58 inch. Like some, I didn't even know they made 58. I thought it was just by like increments of five, but it worked out literally perfect, bro. Fits perfect on this, nice and flush. Perfect for this wall. I know this is a little empty. Some of these slow-mo shots are a little unnecessary, but we'll fill it up as time goes, but yeah. Okay, couches, couches be expensive, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this was a cheap couch. It's, it's a little hard, but it gets the job done. We were gonna try to get like a, like a pull-out bed couch, you know, for when Casey or one of the other homies sleeps over, but then we were like, bro, fuck them. Let's just, let's, let's, let's think about our pockets right now. So Casey said it was comfortable though. He's already slept on it like three times. <laughs> he's leaving his imprint already. There's like a couple light switches in the apartment where we were like, we don't know what they do. Nothing was happening. And then we found out that when you plug something into some of the bottom outlets, obviously the lamp has a switch, but when you plug something into the bottom outlet only, that's what the light switch controls. And we had no idea for a week. I'd say we're like 95% moved in. We're not just gonna have tools laying here. Everything that's empty, it's gotta be filled with something. The walls are pretty empty too. Leave some comments like what, what we should put around here. Nothing crazy. Ashton was talking about a trampoline. <laughs> a Calm down. Right <laughs> Just a big ass trampoline. Hit your head on the on the ceiling, like in like in Family Guy when Stewie hits his head and it makes the football shape. We ordered a big rug that's a hundred dollar bill. It's a big Benjamin rug, and it fits perfect from here to here. And it's not too thick, so the door will still open. I wish he was here already, but like, I'll put a picture on the screen. This is Ashton's room in here. If you want to see Ashton's room, go to his channel. It'll be in the description. Here's a little sneak peek. So you guys get to see. All right, but now onto my room. We've already contacted maintenance about this. My door does not close properly and it, it can't lock. The angle that the door's at, like it gets stuck right, I don't know, it's confusing. So this is my bedroom. First of all, if you're wondering how we picked bedrooms, we did it very, very professional with a game of rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, go. Yeah, all right. Bro. <laughs> no fucking way, bro. All right, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> Bro! And then when that didn't work, we just, we just flipped the coin. This is my first time ever with white furniture, the cabinets, dresser, even the bed. No more eating Chick-fil-A in bed, bro. One little, one little Chick-fil-A sauce stain, bro, I'll be pissed. This little arcade machine, it looks like it's just for decoration, but it actually works. It turns on and there's like 200 games you can play. Shout out my friend Melissa, my old manager from McDonald's. W gift, W gift. I love it, I love it. Moving on, we got the hats. I always just wanted like a collection of hats. Before I even wore hats, like in high school and shit, I just thought it was cool to just have like a big collection of hats. If you're wondering, my favorite team is probably the Dodgers. I've been to a bunch of Dodger games, but I just, I just like the way hats look. I'm not like a huge baseball fan. I remember going to my friend's house and his dad started talking to me. I was wearing like a Yankee jersey and a Yankee hat. He started talking to me about like one of the players and I was like, who? And he was like, they're all-star hitter. <laughs> so like, I was like, I don't, I don't fucking watch baseball. We got the 100K play button. I can't believe it's already like almost three years since I've gotten this shit. And I fucking scratched it when I was hanging it up because I was trying to line up the holes in the back. So my dumbass had the front facing the wall and I had it pushed up against the wall trying to, trying to stick these on and it just Got a couple boards up here. These have no, like these graphics have nothing to do like with me personally. I just thought they looked sick. I wanted like some white decks to hang above my bed. Moving on to my favorite part of my room, the PC setup for the streams, bro. It's pretty much the same if you if you saw my setup at the last house. Made a few upgrades though. I got a mount for the camera and it's pretty, pretty heavy duty. It's pretty durable. I'll, I'll run through what I got real quick. Got a Razer keyboard, the keys are fire. 
wireless Razer mouse, got the Blue Yeti, but also got two of the Shure SM7B mics right here. I'll be using these when I have like some more solo stuff going on, or I also have a podcast that I just recently rebranded. It's called the Amplified Podcast. Did an episode with Jay. No schedule though, we just sprinkle them in whenever I got free time. These mics are sick though. I remember the Shure SM7B, every time I would see like an interview, a podcast, anything, like I was always like, damn, those black mics just look so clean. They're a little expensive, but it's crazy I got two of them now. Got a respawn gaming chair. This shit's squeaky as hell, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That shit gets annoying during the streams. Got a couple 27 inch monitors, got a sound bar back here, stream deck, some lighting, blah, blah, blah. But now I just mounted my 32 inch TV as a monitor. So it's the third monitor, you know, if I wanna like drag something over there, got Instagram up here, shout out Tristan. Or if I'm ever like, you know, done streaming, whatever, I wanna just get in bed, watch TV, boom. Could you grab the remote? And it's just a TV, I can move it around. It's perfect, bro. Like, I love technology. This shit makes me so fucking happy. I think during the streams, I'll just have like the chat right here. If you don't be in the streams, bro, come through on the second channel, Brian Internet Live. It's more than just like playing little video games and shit. Like we do some fun stuff. And now that we're in this apartment, gonna have a lot of homies over, doing more like interactive content. If you're wondering what PC I got, it's just some pre-built PC from Amazon. I'm not even finna cap. I'm slowly educating myself about like computers and shit. It's not on carpet, by the way. It's It has a little stand. Don't come for me in the comments, bro. It's not on the carpet. I do gotta work on my cable management. It's, it's not the best, but if you look under the desk, I do have like a bunch of cables taped. So if I didn't have them taped, it would be way worse. So let me just leave it at that. I just always wanted a computer setup even before I like decided that I was gonna start streaming. So it's just sick to see this. Before me and Ashton flipped that coin and picked rooms, like I, I pictured myself with this room because where the camera's gonna be during the streams, you're gonna be able to see the door. So anytime a homie walks in, let's say someone wants to prank me, like when Jay broke in and tried to rob me, you'll just see him, boom, come right in. And maybe if I have my headphones on, I won't even know. So the chat will know first, you feel me? It's just a sick dynamic. Coming over here, we got the closet. This is my first time with a walk-in closet, bro. I had, bro, okay, let me just say, I did not know I had this many clothes, especially black hoodies. I had to make its own section for just black hoodies. Everything else, you know, I got it kind of color coordinated, got the black tees over here. Then down here goes flannels, windbreaker slash puffer jacket things, some jerseys, and then it goes to crew necks, and then hoodies over there. And then got the white tees right here. I need some more white tees. Like, white tees are my favorite, bro. If you have like a clothing brand or something, got a, got a P.O. box on the screen. I, I probably should get a new one now that I don't live in Fillmore anymore, but P.O. box on the screen. If you want to send me some white tees, I'm an XL. Just saying, just saying. I got a shoe rack up here, but I have not brought all of my shoes. I don't even have that many, if I'm being honest. I got a few pairs of horses and a bunch of vans. I should probably up my shoe game a little. If you want to send me some shoes, P.O. box, just get a bunch of shoes i think that's pretty much it for the closet but now let's move on to the bathroom this is my first time in my own bathroom too all right first thing when you walk in the bathroom you see the toilet and then every day when i'm taking a piss right above it got the sedan boys banner bro w sedan boys if you know you know this is no shade him him being in the bathroom that's no shade it's just i feel like it's funny me and ashton got our own showers w shower w shower my dumbass bought one shower curtain but i didn't get the one that goes inside the shower so i kind of just use it as both for right now very happy to have my own shower snappy if, if you ever come over Please use this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> leave, leave Snappy alone, bro. Some of you motherfuckers be taking it too far, bro. Like, it's, it's one thing when you're friends and you're making jokes, but like, don't be in his comments, like, actually genuinely talking shit. I guess you're not funny. For real, Snappy's a W. Got the little sink area. Nothing too special. So, uh, toothbrush. Snappy, again, come over. I got I got a, a special toothbrush just for you. Imagine. <laughs> it just has his name on it. It's it's just a sink area. Kind of Kind of boring. Got a TV and that's pretty much it. Just just <laughs> completely disregard a TV. Bro, I have a fucking TV in my bathroom. It's it's like half for the meme and the other half because I'm I'm dead ass like an iPad kid, bro. At my mom's house, bro, I'd have my phone propped up in the shower watching YouTube videos. Like I'm that kid, bro. So now when you're taking a shit, yeah, bro, you could be on the toilet watching TV. In the shower, I could use it to play music or I could like peek through the shower curtain and just, you know, watch some Ashton Kelly or some Edgar Danu. We were at like Target and I was like, should I get a TV for the bathroom? I was like, I'm down bro. This is the first time I have my own bathroom. I am with it. Any meal I get, anytime I eat, like I have to watch YouTube with it, bro. That meme, that meme where it's like the guy in the hospital or he's like on the stretcher. It's like, what happened? And he's like, he ate without watching YouTube. <laughs> it was so funny bringing the homies over and seeing their reactions. Oh, I got the streaming set up. Wait, no, this is this is your room, right? Yeah. That's Brian's room? Yeah, it's Ashton's room. Oh, All the hats. Ashton. I've never seen this before. It's like really clean. 
<laughs> Why are you saying that like it's a surprise? No, it's, just, it's like, it's just like, it's like white. It's like surprisingly not <laughs> disgusting. Oh. Every time you take a piss, you're like, what? For real, I get to think of it while I'm holding it. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> Jerk off in here and just that's uh, soap, bro. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to know. <laughs> just like, yeah, a... Bring a little fingerboard in here, <laughs> get a little line. Oh, oh, back I in. I just start scratching my fucking face. Like... <laughs> 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 like, walks straight into it, bro. Everybody oh, runs into oh, our screen. Bro. No way. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stoked on everything. <laughs> he's like, he's like. A broom! Oh! Wait, is it actually? <laughs> <laughs> you know we're YouTubers when we got Wi-Fi before we had a couch. We got that shit the first day. This is legit! Yo, that's hard, bro. Congrats, bro. Congrats, bro. Mountain Dew? Oh, I fucking knew it. Oh, that's me! <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's me right there! A view hits different when it's like your homie's view, bro. When like, they work, for, they ask for it. And you finally got a good little view of like, the hills and the city and the lights. Like, cause your homies work for it, it just feels so much better, bro. Like, yes, sir. bro, y'all really did that, bro. This is tight! With the little fan. I know this bitch could talk, for sure. Oh my. Oh my god, this is where the little stream's gonna happen? Yeah. Oh my god, bro. Hold on, let me like and take this real quick, bro. This is hard. This is hard. That's hard. I might take that when I leave. Little closet. Little closet? <laughs> little closet? You can fit your whole ass in there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big ass closet, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why? This is funny as fuck, but this is funnier. This is the shit right here. That's that's hard. Shout out to that. Shout out to Dan. But there's still one more person that hasn't seen the room yet. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> Welcome home, Juju. He's just gonna go like run under my bed. I mean, he's gonna go around smelling everything. I like how he walks so low. He just starts fucking up all my cables. Everything just starts falling down. I'm gonna just let him get used to the place. If he does anything funny, I'll just film it for like Snapchat or something. I'll, I'll put it at the end of the video. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. It's 7.30 in the morning right now. I literally just finished editing this video. I stayed up all night working on it. But I just wanted to sit here kind of one-on-one -on -one with you guys and just, just talk to you. Moving to LA is a huge milestone and doing it with a homie, a close homie of mine, that is insane, bro. Like it doesn't get better than that. What else can you ask for? I'm super hyped for all the content we're gonna be pumping out this year. I'm locked in 2023, bro, dead ass. And and just a little heads up, I'm probably not going to be in every single one of Ashton's videos. He's not going to be in every single one of mine. Obviously, we live together. We're going to be skating together. But we don't want you guys watching, like, the exact same video on both channels. You feel me? I mean, we're just going to have fun with it, though. You know, try not to take things too serious because that's where things go left. But, bro, I just want to say thank you guys so much for allowing us to just live out our dreams. Dead ass, bro. Like, I don't want to be doing anything else. I could go on and on for another 20 minutes. But I'm going to just say one last thing. Everybody been asking me for these old baby blue crewnecks. These been gone. On, bro but if you made it this far in the video you're a real one so i'm gonna put these back on the site for 48 hours low pre-order so get them while you can because you'll never be able to get them again and i promise new designs soon all that i got it's so much plan 2023 bro i swear make sure you guys check out the second channel in the description that's why i'll be streaming at i'm gonna be streaming exactly two hours after this video goes public me ashton probably bring over a couple of the other homies i don't know but i'll catch you guys there casey i'm gonna go pee you want to hold it for me no. <laughs> no, my water, so I go pee. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs>